Call the meeting to order of the Laverne Planning Commission for February the 24th, 2015. Uh, we have a quorum present. Uh, I asked the members if they looked at the minutes. So I'll make a motion to approve as submitted. I have a motion to approve as submitted. Do I hear a second? Second. I have a second. Everyone in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. <coughs> minutes are approved. Our new business tonight. Number one, final minor plat, Evelyn's Mitchell subdivision, requested by Bob Hayes. Three proposed lots on 3.55 acres, property located at 147 Old Walden Road, tax map 017C, Group C, parcel 6.00, R1 low density residential zoning district, property owned by Evelyn Mitchell. Ms. Costanza. All right, Mr. Chairman, we had seven technical items at the workshop. All of those have been addressed at this time. So I have no technical items to report. Okay. Mr. Chairman, with all the technical items been addressed, I make a motion to accept as submitted. I have a motion to accept as submitted. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. Is approved. Number two. Final minor plat resubdivision of lot 134 Aiken Heights, 163 John D Street, and 0 Vincent Lane, requested by Bill Elliott, approximately one acre in total. Property is located at 163 D John D Street and 0 Vincent Lane. Tax map 017M, Group E, parcels 18.00 and 19.00 respectively. R2, medium density residential zoning district, property owned by Bill Elliott. Ms. Costanza. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we did have 16 technical items that were all very minor at the workshop, and the applicant has worked uh, diligently to get all of them corrected in time for the meeting. So I have no technical items to report tonight. Okay. Thank you. A little technical items been addressed, Mr. Chairman. I'll make a motion to accept as submitted. I have a motion to accept as submitted. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor of aye. Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. It is approved. Number three, site revision, Walmart, requested by Carlson Consulting Engineers, proposed fueling station layout and kiosk size change, 41.84 acres. Property located at the intersection of Murfreesboro and Fergus Roads, tax map 018, Parcel 2.00, C2, Highway Service, Commercial Zoning District, property owned by Walmart Real Estate Business Trust. Ms. Costanza. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we had no technical items to report at the workshop. This was a very minor change uh, with the addition of just 44 square feet and a literally a 180 degree shift of the canopy and the gas pumps. So this is the same, uh, we have the same submittal as we did for the workshop, which there was nothing to report on. Okay. Okay. Mr. Chairman, will the line has been addressed and make a motion to accept as submitted. I have a motion to accept as submitted. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. It is approved. Number four, recommendation to the board and mayor of Alderman Rezoning requested by Oliver Constable and Dr. John Burns. Current zoning, I-2, heavy industrial, proposed zoning, R-3, high density. And residential PDR, it's 63.25 acres. Property located along Blair Road. Tax map 029, parcel 2.00. Property owned by Dr. John Burns. Mr. Uh, Mr. Parker, Mr. Chairman, excuse me. Um, I don't have any new information to share with you tonight. You have everything before you. Uh, as you know, this is a request for a favorable or an unfavorable recommendation to move to the Board of Mayor and Aldermen for the rezoning and the concept plan. I do have a number of people here on behalf of the project if there are any questions. Uh, but with this being just a recommendation, there are no real technical items to, okay. to present. So I have all, you've got all the information before you. Okay. Do the, any members have any questions for any of the applicants? Well, I don't know if it's a question for the applicants or not, but I drove down Blair Road this weekend for something un completely unrelated, 
And I can't see, if you only have one car for this many units, how that much traffic is a good thing for Laverne. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have a problem with apartments per se, but I, I didn't like the amount of traffic that was on the road and, there, mm -hmm. and, and that's without apartments. Mm -hmm. So I just don't understand if that's going to be resolved at some other time or if that's a, a factor in our decision. But it was a major concern for me. Pu public safety is always a factor in our decision, that's for sure. Yes, it is. I mean, I think we'd all agree to that. Public safety is, is one of our main concerns. Um, but thank you for your comments. I mean, I think that's a very, very valid comment. Anyone else have anything to say about this? I, I'd <coughs> like to say, obviously, there is concern with Blair and, and the traffic on it. But with the process they're going to have to go through and the suggestions that's already been made by by the Planning Commission already, the road will have to be addressed in order for it to, to progress. No matter what, this Planning Commission is moving forward. I think we just need to set off and get that thing moving forward. Okay. So that, Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to, to send a favorable recommendation to the Mayor and Alderman. Okay, I have a motion to send a favorable recommendation to the Mayor and Board of Aldermen. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second to send a favorable recommendation. I think we'll have a, a voice vote on this one, okay? We'll start with you, Graham. Aye. 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 Mr. Jones? I'm going to have to say no at this time. Okay. Bob. I'm going to abstain. I'm going to abstain? Right I'm going to say no. No? No. Okay. So we have, so the motion fails. That's what happens. The motion fails to send a favorable recommendation fails by a vote of three to two with one abstention. That's correct. You vote? I didn't vote yet, but I can if you nope. want to. Yeah, you need you, to vote. You probably want to vote, and then if it's a tie, yeah. of course the motion will still fail because of a tie. Yeah. I'm going to vote no myself. Okay. I'm going to vote no. So it would be four, one abstention, and two aye. Okay. With that, with that motion failing then. Just, you would need to ask for a. We'd have to ask for an unfavorable recommendation. Well, you, you could ask Part for any motion yeah. that would be brought before the board, or the board can continue to discuss the matter further okay. if it so, so okay. chooses. Do we have other discussion that we need to have on this ma on this matter? Again. Yes. Uh, Would you please state your name? I, Enoch, mean, I know who you okay. are. Okay, Enoch Jarrell with Huddleston Steel Engineering. Um, and you know, Planning Commission looked at this before. We've had some discussions with the Planning Commission, and you know, since the last, to sort of update you since the last um, Planning Commission meeting. Um, you know, we, we have had a, uh, a neighborhood meeting. A lot of the folks in, in Woodsong, Ivy Point, along Blair Road had some concerns about Blair Road. Mm -hmm. And Blair Road has some, some safety concerns. There's no doubt about that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, but this, from a zoning standpoint, I don't know if there's a zoning map, but it's zoned industrial or multifamily all around it. So from a zoning standpoint, we feel it's just really a good, good location for a multifamily. It's really down zoning from industrial to multifamily. <coughs> um, so I don't know if you have. Yeah, see the. Yep, this is all multifamily right, right here. Right. Yeah, the site we're looking at is here. Am I right, Chris? Yes, that's correct. This is zoned for mobile homes. Mm -hmm. This is all zoned multifamily. Mm -hmm. Is that is that zoned R three or R two? R three. In the green R three. And this is vacant. And these are you know, smaller tracts of larger homes, which are really not developed as multifamily, but. Mm -hmm. You know, from a zoning standpoint, uh, it's really a, a good location for, for multifamily. Um, you know, we have done a traffic study, and there was one of the concerns, I guess, was the, uh, was the curve. Uh, it's really maybe more and smarter than in Laverne, but um, there's a curve that's really sharp, and the developers come back and, and submitted a, we've, we've come in and with, uh, to soften that curve. We met with uh, with Miss Naron because um, it would be approach on her property. We, we discussed that with her, mm -hmm. and she's amenable to work work with this. Is, is that curve in Smyrna? It, I, don't, uh, I don't know exactly where the city limits the, is. The city limits line is right there. Okay, see it, it, it comes, so curve comes is down and over. So, <laughs> okay. Miss, um, and I guess it's really this, you know, sort of both. Really, you might say because the. Uh, the verandas apartments is in Smyrna. Mm -hmm. This property is in is in Laverne. The Mr. Royley Walter owns, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. the Miss Naren's property is in Smyrna, and then Mr. Miss Mitchell's property is in Laverne. 
and we've met with Mr. Mr. Mitchum too because some of that right of way would come off of them, and we've looked at you know widening the road in front of in front of this complex, and the majority of the traffic really is going to head back towards um, towards Sam Ridley Parkway, mm -hmm. um, and you know when we met with the residents of Woodsong Ivy Point, you know their main concern is. They can't see to get out of their subdivision, mm -hmm. and and we understand that. That's not we you know it's really we've looked at that ourselves, you know. Uh, and one of the things the developer has uh, would like to do, and we've we've met with with city staff, and is to you know there's quite a bit of impact fees that would be paid towards. I mean he's looking at spending a hundred thousand dollars himself on Blair Road in front of the project. And then with the impact fees, is about 273000 that would go towards road. And, you know, what we're hoping to do is work with the, with the city of Laverne and, and help put some of those dollars towards making some improvements at the Woodsong intersection and then potentially at Blair and, um, and Walden Road. Uh, Mr. Bill Holliston with, um, with Hudson Steels here, he put together the track study, driven the road, looked at it from a safety concern. Uh, and I think that's the main concern is is the road and the safety, you know, uh, and and you know we've feel like we've worked on addressing that, and um, and and we'd like to see y'all consider <clears throat> approving this so we can move forward on to the the mayor board of aldermen meetings, and that would that gives the public really their it would have public meetings give them their say, and we'd welcome that. So if there's any way y'all could consider us to move forward. Well, it's, um, it's going to go to the mayor and board of aldermen, whether it's favorable or unfavorable. It's going to them anyway. It can, right. It, it will. Right. It will mm -hmm. I mean, it yeah. will go to them anyway. Okay. All right. So, All right. so what, whatever recommendation that comes from this board tonight won't deter that. Okay. So that it'll still move on. It. Okay. And I think most of us realize that Blair Road has been a problematic part of traffic for years. This is nothing new, but as we add more vehicles to it, we just compound that problem. Right. And, so, and, 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 you and know, today the, the road has about 3,000 cars bill, maybe. Mm -hmm. And we're adding about the same number, yeah. you know, today. But still, from a capacity standpoint, it has capacity mm -hmm. to handle the traffic. It's just there are some safety concerns. And that's really a different issue from, yeah. from capacity. Yeah. But, but the developer is willing to work with the city and, and help address some of those. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So we appreciate your time. Unless you have any other questions. Does anybody have any questions for, for Mr. Durham? Thank you. Thank All you right. for you. Thank you very much. Okay. Does the, any member have any other comments to make or anything? Okay. Then I'll entertain a motion. So made. Make a motion to unfavorable. Send an unfavorable recommendation. I need a second then. Okay. Second. Have a second. A motion's been made and seconded. There again, we'll have a voice vote on it as well. Okay. No. Yes. 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 Okay. Are we good there? Are we good there? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I guess the next thing we have is bonds and letters of credit then. Mr. Chairman, board, everyone should have an <coughs> updated bond list in front of them. Everything is up to date. Um, I think the first one is going to expire is May 1st. Uh, so so when that gets a little bit closer, I'll be in contact with the bank and also with the developer on that to get it extended. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Now, we have one or other order of business. I just want to remind everybody about the training on Saturday from 8 to 12 over in the conference room in the, where we used to meet for the um, code in previous years. Yes. The code building. Okay. Yep. We will have some refreshments. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. And... Um, Hope to see you there if you're able so, to attend. So that'd be from 8 to noon this coming Saturday. Okay. All right. Any other matter before the board? Any other members? This meeting is adjourned.